Well, many thanks for staying with us in the news update at 3. I am Justin Akadonye. Police in Ogun State have arrested a pastor, Ayodele Bamiduro, and one Olusola Kindele over alleged killing of a woman simply identified as Iya Anu. Parading the suspect at the scene of the incident, of the, the Commissioner of Police, Ahmed Ilyasu, said the offenses committed bordered on conspiracy, murder, and ritualism. Ilyasu explained that the district head of Igbore Robion in Ifo local government area of the state reported to the police about a headless decomposing body of a woman, which was found in an uncompleted building within the community, adding that after serious technical intelligence work, the two suspects were arrested and have confessed. On interrogation, Onishola Akindele, who claimed to be a prophet in a church, confessed that the victim was his woman friend, who he simply identified as Ya Anu. He stated further that they have been dating and hibernating for two years. On that fateful day, the deceased came to visit him as usual. And after they made love with each other, and the woman was relaxing, the so-called prophet surreptitiously brought out a very big clock that looks like a pistol, a very big wood with which he smashed the woman's head. Three years. So what to make you kill her? Eh? Who said it you have? Who said make you kill her gun? Me, I will tell you. Me, me, you know the judge supposed to be telling me. What do you want? I'm not the supposed to be telling you. I'm not just telling you. What are you doing now? You bring this thing for my place. Why? You see, don't shout to me. Meanwhile, journalists in Ogun State, Southwest Nigeria, under the Nigerian Union of Journalists, have staged a peaceful protest against impunity, arrest, detention, and harassment of colleagues across the country by government and security operatives while performing their constitutional duties. Given his address at the Iweroi House in Abeokuta, the Ogun State Capital, the chairman of the union in the state, Wale Shokumbi asked the authorities to continue to respect the rule of law and the fundamental rights of men of the profession. They also expressed their views against the resuscitation of the obnoxious decree of 1984 in the dark days of the military dictatorship, where journalists and media houses were clamped down at will, describing it as a monster which must not be allowed to have its way back in the polity. Please to protest all the various attacks on journalists and journalism in Nigeria. We have seen, we have been following the trends that some journalists have been incapacitated. They are arrested, some two years, a year, six months. And to us as media, it is unacceptable. In another development, the rights of individuals are not only sacrosanct, but an obligation that must be observed and respected by all, including security personnel, in accordance with the International Human Rights Act. This is the opinion of a legal practitioner in Midgari, while reacting to the abuses against civilians by men of the defunct Special Anti-Robbery Squad SARS. Bashar Hassan, while making this assertion, also stated that SARS was a creation of the police force to aid in handling civil matters, but the unit under the police force did not stick to the laws establishing it. The activism in reforming the judicial system or justice system or policing solely lies in the, under the International Human Rights Charter and the other relevant laws. The activism of the human rights and humanity is lies in their hand. As a member of the United Nations and signatory to the Human Rights Act, Nigeria as a nation has had to battle with cases of human rights and this has only contributed to damaging the image of the country. Therefore, it is incumbent on the government to ensure strict compliance with human rights laws by strengthening the relevant agencies and stakeholders for better outcomes. 
For more updates and latest news, visit our website galaxytvonline.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash galaxytv Nigeria. You can follow or interact with us on our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash galaxytv or tweet at us at galaxytv. Now, don't forget to follow and tag us on our Instagram page at official Galaxy TV. Our social media platforms are user-friendly and can always accommodate your live updates and comments. Well, many thanks for being a part of the news. I am Justin Akadonye. We urge you to join us again at half past six for our early evening news. The Galaxy Party Time continues.